Senegalese astrophysicist Salma Sila is searching for solutions to some of Africa's most pressing challenges, but looking into space is not enough, she says. I would like to go to space because if I can go to space, I can gather precious information that will be useful for generations to come. It's essential. Since the first man in space in 1961, hundreds of astronauts have blasted off. But a black African is yet to make the journey. Marie Corsaga, a scientist from Burkina Faso, says it's about time this changes. She's taking part in the new Space Africa conference in Ivory Coast, where scientists, companies and investors gather, hoping to change perspectives of space research. Burkina Faso has been independent for more than 60 years, and yet we struggle with the same problems. Hunger, lack of water and agriculture. We waste our money when we should invest in space research to find long-term solutions. Two, one. In April, Kenya launched its first satellite, joining the few African countries that have space programs. The images it generates support conservation efforts by anticipating weather patterns such as droughts. They can even help protect borders by monitoring the movements of armed groups in the Sahel. Some of the components of satellites are precious metals and minerals found on the continent, but they cost hundreds of millions of dollars and take years to build. Omari Chet, a Kenyan startup, has the solution, nanosatellites. This Omari Chet CubeSat is uh, made for the African space agencies. It is a real-life replica of a functioning satellite. It is affordable, uh, it is modular, and uh, what we do is we enable space agencies to... Uh, we shorten the launch windows from a few years it takes to launch a satellite for any country to a few months. On a meteorite from Mars, researchers discovered traces of zircon, a mineral found in abundance in Senegal. For Scylla, this is no coincidence. With only 4% of the universe known to humans, she says Africans have an important role to play in discovering what's out there and how it can be used to improve lives back on Earth. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera. Thank <laughs> you.